Hello and welcome back to um, what is now actually the final Infernite League session. So, we're going to be quickly recapping and then diving into things because we are on part two of um, a thing that we are doing. So, um, two weeks ago, um, Crown Boss called Slip cut out Craig's sister's Elizabeth's eyes, Junior's sister even. Um, so, uh, I'm surprised with Junior who got drunk, saw a vision of someone saying that he should get vengeance, and is now getting vengeance. So, we're going to talk about the plan. We're going to start with the plan, then we'll recap with what you did. So, um, the initial plan was that um, we're going to try um, gain control of the inn. Uh, sorry, the brothel that Slip runs, the crime boss. Um, and by doing that, you're going to kill Slip. That's gonna. That's kind of like the main plan is to do the whole murder slip thing. Mm -hmm. um, now, like slips brothel is pretty well guarded. You all knew that. Like you saw like ten, twenty guards in there when you. I think I said fifteen actually when you um went in there the last time. I have no idea. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. The, the party are messaging each other while I recap, and it's mighty distracting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. So, oh, where was I? Right. In order to, like, they decided that going straight through the front door and charging it slip wasn't the best idea. And they discovered that Unless there was. Unless you're him. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're door him. Yeah. Unless um, that's always the plan. Yeah. Um, and they discovered that there was a back tunnel into the building uh, that Slip used to smuggle spice in, like the drug that she is most known for in Woodhurst. Um, the plan is that they're going to get a small group to go in the front and cause a distraction and try to flush her out this back passageway in order to um, get a, like, a nice easy kill. Now, um, in order to do this, they decided to try a couple of things and they have managed to get a few bits of information in the last session. So, they have the support of the Order of Stars, the um, the crime organization run by Fat Santa, um, whose name we still haven't learned because no one wants to know. Um, Fat Santa. <laughs> he, he's just been called Fat Santa. Um, Fat Santa has offered them some men, a group of men, um, in order to take down Slip, which is really good. Um, and apart from that, he's also aided um, the party by getting them in contact with Slip's lawyer, who has told them that in order to get the deed to the brothel, they'll need him alive. Um, pretty much, they need to sneak into the building, uh, steal a contract from a room adjacent to um, Slip's office, and take that back to him. He'll forge Slip's signature on it, and they will have themselves a legal brothel. Um, and I believe that's everything. Oh, except for the fact that also Jacques last week went in and warned um, a couple of the girls. Sorry, he told one girl um, whose name was written down somewhere, but Sherry, Sherry, it was Sherry. It's I, I've I cleaned up my room Sherry. recently, and I must have just thrown out more paperwork. So I'm gonna get some more paper. But um, that, yeah, that was still really impressive to me that I remembered that like that one detail. I, feel, I felt bad that I forgot. Um, but yeah, they informed uh, one of um, Elizabeth's prostitute friends called Sherry that they were going to, you know, be um, raiding the place. And Sherry has spread the word around a few trusted names in the in the brothel to help secure the safety of the girls. So, um, last week we ended on this whole torturing of the, um, the gnome lawyer. Um, also whose name you do not know, by the way. Um, and I came up with names last week and no one, no one found out any of them. Like, because you were just like, we're just going to go in, like, guns blazing and kill things. That's far too many details for us to know. Yeah, you don't need to know these things. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be starting this week's session um, with the, with four of you regrouping for the first time in a little bit. You know, um, mm -hmm. you, the party split up a little bit to gather information last week. And we'll be starting off in the Lion's Leg Inn, the inn that has been repurposed for your guys' little, um, your scheme. So it's um it's like mid to late afternoon, you know, like maybe three, four o'clock. Um and yeah. What's the plan, guys? Like, how are we gonna be doing this today? Like did we know where Jacques had gone to? Yes, Jacques did tell you that he was going to see the, the, the horrors to talk to. Him. So I'm gonna assume we're gonna fill people in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So was your mission successful? Well, we've well, I 
no, now that um, we're going to not, ho hopefully not like um, have too many civilian casualties in the way. And potentially even some of them will be able to harm themselves, hopefully. And then uh, I'll um, fill you in with the, yep, the, well, the lawyer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We know that the only place where, well, the only lead we've got on finding the secret entrance is that it's in Slip, the, the way in there is in Slip's bedroom. Uh, no, you did get a little bit more information as well. Um, so you had, no, the girls told you last time that they have never seen anyone that they, like, you know, in this spice trade, go in through slips, like go in through the main building, and you know they've been there for years, and they've patrolled yeah. every area, and they said with pretty cert, like pretty much certainty, that the other end of it is on the other side of the wall. Right. Okay. Um, like that's the other thing that we kind of came up with. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, in which case, we can have a look. Out. I mean, outside the wall, it's pretty big because it's a on the city, but we can. I mean, I guess we can use a bit of deduction to figure out what kind of areas that might come out in, just to have a route around while we're preparing, because we'll have a bit of time to kill, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can always split well, up if we, want, if we need to. Yeah. Split up and look for clues, gang! Um, split up the so... party. <laughs> split up the party. Send one of you in to fight Slip alone. Um, <laughs> let me kill you off one by one. That never goes well when we split up. I mean, it went well last time. I've got to disguise myself as somebody again, though. Yeah. We sure almost killed someone. No, we did. We, we, we succeeded in that mission. After we showed it, almost. We've killed many people. Yes, we, we we've have. killed many people who have been split up. Hey, all of you. Okay, so... Um... Quick question. Yes. Um, what side of, like... Is the Slips place on the same side of the city that um, the, what are the names, Perkins and whatever? Perkins? Is the, what the name? Piper, Piper and Hawkins. Hawkins. That's it. Are they the same side of the city? As in, it was their town the same side of the city? Piper and... Um, you mean the path to their town? Yes. Because oh, their town yes. was the first one that we came across when we left the yes. city from yes. that direction. So, um, so um, like... Uh, Woodhurst is a perfect. It's pretty much a perfect circle, right? You okay. guys are to the south of it, and um, the like, and um, the town the Piper and Hawkins came from is to the east of it. Now, so when like three o'clock, this is the if we're looking yes. at it. On the, yeah, yeah. Now, um, like the the place that like the Piper. Oh my god, the fearsome dreamer, the brothel itself is the, like one of the first like kind of recreational buildings on that. You know. That from coming from that direction, which mm -hmm. is one of the reasons why it's such prime real estate because it's one of the first like and last mm -hmm. like you know buildings that people coming into and coming out of the city visit. Okay. So, logically, mm -hmm. if I were to put it together, I would assume that their town is probably in some way like you would expect that someone who was leaving the city from that direction would go through their town. Yes, almost certainly. So we could like, talk to them. Yeah, uh, the town, like, yeah, you could, but uh, yeah. the town is small, so they might know rumors. But mm -hmm. like, the chances of like someone going in, going, yeah, I'm a smuggler, you know, is pretty mm -hmm. slim. But you could uh, say, has anyone been towards someone mm -hmm. suspicious? Yeah, or... mm -hmm. yeah that's a or, that's a good or a regular to the town. Because if they're a regular, that means because they're smuggling back and forth, they'll be seen lots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, or him. I'm so proud of you, my boy. <laughs> Even though you lost my sister like... getting her fucking eyes cut out. I mean, makes a point. Mm. Uh, cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, right. So, um, like, remember that Piper and Hawkins were Piper and Hawkins were left um down at mm -hmm. the saloon in Marin's Eve. So you'll have to take a ride out to get there, but um, you know, it shouldn't be too. It's not going to be difficult to go down. And do we have a time for um, what's his name? The oh, we don't have his name. That's you just Santa. Yes. Uh, do you mean like? Yeah. Does he like? No, he's like. like remember? Yeah. Like, do you don't have a time that we're doing this plan? No, you guys told him that you know you have a plan, 
but you are waiting for the final like piece of the puzzle, which is this smuggler's route. Okay. Um, like the reason that Jack went back last week, now it's kind of coming back to me, is actually because it wasn't just to warn the girls; yeah. it was to say was you guys it. lied to Fat Santa about um, how oh, you get yeah. that last piece of information. You okay. said to them, "Oh yeah, we got a girl on the inside. She's gonna she she's gonna mm-hmm. tell us the way." And Jack went over to say, "It's just you're a girl nice. on the inside." <laughs> But yeah. did, didn't Jack say to them there was a day that this was going to happen? Uh, he said, he like, said, soon. He, no, said it was coming soon. Ah, okay. There's a reckoning oh. coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, there's no, there's no like time limit on this yet. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, Fat Santa's going to want this done quickly. Otherwise, he's going to probably lose trust in you guys, like trust yeah. in the plan, and probably might yeah. fail. Yeah. Um, so you guys insinuated. You know some some lev some degree of like haste. Yeah, I mean, I think as long as we do it within a couple of days, we'll be golden. Leave it any longer than that, then I think it'll get to the point where it'll start to lose that trust. Yep. Okay. So, um, Dorheem is going to take the journey back to um, Marin's Eve and talk to Piper and Hawkins. How come you're talking to Piper and Hawkins rather than going direct to the town? I mean, uh, the town is three but... days journey yeah. out. Sorry. The town is three days' journey out. Oh. Yeah, and Marin Eve, Marin's Eve is only a day, isn't it? Half a day. Half a day, okay, yeah, that's preferable. It's like a couple hours. So you can go there, shout at them, and then come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could like you could easily make it back for tomorrow morning. Like, um, if, if you wanted to make Dorian leave now, of course, but you don't have to. You could always go tomorrow and come so, back in. A uh, list of things we still need. We only really need the door, because we're going to send eight to get the deed because we know exactly where it is. So yes. The door? Fairly easy. And you mean the, the, the back passage. entrance? Passageway, yeah. Yeah. Do we, so oh, do we want to like send Tom to look for drugs or something? I mean, you could. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can look for drugs. Just you're quite a charismatic individual, yeah. so... Yeah, go for it. What, one of the first like part of our plan was to find um like a uh, a spice den, but mm-hmm. we never actually did that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um so like we got we got two two like ideas here which are both like really good and I'm 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 excited to follow these. Um like what about the like so one Dorheim's going back to Marin's Eve, Jacques is going to um the the this uh, like to hunt down a spice den. What about the other two? Uh jun- Junior Blight, what do you guys want to do? Like if you want to do your own thing, you can do your own thing. Otherwise you can go with one of these two yeah. fine gentlemen. I'll go with Dorheim. I'll keep the tradition solid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go with Jack then to keep that tradition solid. Yeah. <laughs> we have Abadi Abadai. Um <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've gone. You've got all blue, Craig. I know. That's. I was really confused. I knocked the table slightly, and now I'm blue. <laughs> this is really good. okay. I'm. Okay. I'm. I'm like, it's right, fine. Listen up. Here's the story. <laughs> no. Oh. He's green. <laughs> now he's got Deus Ex Pistol. Did I change the color? <laughs> that's better. This? this is brilliant. <laughs> I want one. Why did I do that? Oh, it's like a bat. It's, it's my like... lightest blue, so I think when I knocked it, I did yeah. something which made the camera blue. Uh, I loved it. But yeah, so um let's get back to let's get back to the plan. So let's um like logically it makes more sense that we'll deal with like well um like to deal with Jack and Junior first because they're doing something in the city while you two are riding out. So oh. you know, you two you two like um I'm gonna be in disguise. Yeah, you two can get uh, on the eight. Uh, what am I going to do? Um, we'll rush a bit. I need to check I'm my gonna, character sheet. I'm going to use the prestigitation on Craig to make him oh. like... Make him what? I'm going to... Well, I want to make him look a bit different. I don't know. Cool. I'm, to think. I'm going to make his face all dirty. Yeah, you, you couldn't make major changes. Like, you no, couldn't, no, like... No, no. But you could do stuff... You know, you could do stuff like change his hair colour. Yeah. Like, even little things like that. So you, you can't like give me new features. You no can only chain yeah. like like prestigitation yeah. is um very minor illusions. Um so having it so that you know you were just someone like a completely different man oh. is even I'm... like like maybe like put some like a headscarf on him and stuff like that. Yeah. And I've got 
old party clothes from when we went to the party yeah. remember, with the cultists. You, yeah, so you, what I can do is, I'm assuming the party clothes, is, is it just a standard suit? Is that kind yeah, of Yeah, it's, it? well, um, it's like a fancy tunic, you know? Yeah. Like, mm. got some lacy bits, got some, like, you know, velvet-like bits. It's, remember, you, you robbed, like, very affluent people for those. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe what I want to do with that is tear it up a little bit, make it look less fancy, more like it is uh, like choice of dress, a bit like what my current at attire is. You could just go buy clothes. Like, That's a good point as well, actually. Yeah, you're in the capital yeah. city in the middle of day. There's got to be shops open. Yeah. yeah, I'll just go and buy simple commoner mm. clothes. Yeah, like it's not going to be hard to find at all. It'll be yeah. like, you know, a new outfit, maybe a silver piece. Yeah. Like, so yeah, you can buy so like buy a new outfit. Are we looking for commoner clothes, or are we looking for like you know anything particular? Just. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, something similar to so like a shirt, a uh, plain jacket, like mm -hmm. not even a jacket, just like a kind of like coat jumper thing and yeah. some trousers. Yeah, just so you're not wearing what you usually wear. Yeah, which is like yeah. the red jacket. Yeah, you 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 dress quite well because you've got a you know decent background. So yeah, yeah, you get all that sorted with no problem. Um, and then like prestigitation to change, make myself look a little bit more dirty and change my hair color would even disguise me enough. Yeah, like it's it's little things like yeah. you know um, we have like we in real life have a lot of friends change their hair color quite regularly. Yeah, you, you know, people take double takes at little things like you know, um, people growing facial hair, people like changing hair color. So like, it you're hiding in plain sight, but unless someone like if, if Slip saw you like this, she would definitely be able to recognize you. Yeah, but well, like someone you've you know, someone would like unless someone was really focusing, they probably wouldn't recognize you, and they'd have to have known you before. Yeah, uh, hiding in plain sight unless I did something like dyed my hair pink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I was assuming when you said change hair color, it was going to be going for like blonde to black kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what hair color. That's no, basically no, like from brown to control. black. Huh? Again, like, I want to put like a headscarf on him, like as part of this outfit kind of thing. But um, yeah. basically, how it says like give them to show you to your full full face hair shows. The only yeah. thing to be difficult to disguise really is the rifle, but I don't. There's nothing you I can do about it. Shouldn't be a problem right now. Would you hmm. want me to leave that behind? Do you think, Tom? Uh, well, we're gonna go find like a den with the guards and stuff. So, um, my my angle is more that we're gonna go there as two sort of roughs looking for work. Let's so the, the info that way. So do you think the rifle would be a bad thing there to hold on to? Uh, I think? It's, yeah, it's not really something a rough would hold on to. Yeah, well, if you let me put it this way, um. Rifles are not common. We no. talk about this yeah. a lot. If something went like, let's say you guys screwed up, right? Let's say mm -hmm. worse comes to worse and something horrible happens at this like this drug den. Yeah. If word got back to Slip that one of them had a rifle, yeah. Um, the chances of it fo following back to you, Junior, is pretty high. Pretty high. Yeah. She knows that she's would, made an enemy with a gun. Um, would, would I be able to buy a dagger? Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Gold piece. A gold piece. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah, got a spare. Shack has okay, a spare. That's even better. Mm -hmm. I've two this whole time, so yeah, sure. Cool. I'll. I'm uh, guessing the crap one. It... Yeah, give him the crap one. Um, Is it just 1d4 damage? Yeah. Oh, mm. And then I just. Okay. There's. So, um, can I get a oh, disguise check? Can I just get a disguise check from look? Well, yours, Jacques, You've got this. You got your special face thing, right? Aye, aye. Uh, yeah. Is it a disguise check or is it just go for it? I always forget. Uh, I think I have to do a disguise. Check. Like my face, nothing will change. It's just like how. I don't know if it's how because it's just like it's just a power to my race. So I don't know if I have to do a check to be like how successful it is. It's just how. It looks, well, we'll make you do it if something goes wrong. Let's say that. We'll look right. it up if something goes wrong, but for now, you take on someone's appearance. Yeah, my name, my alias is um, simply uh, McQuillan. Yep. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a 
Rogue for hire. Cool. And I'll and I'll be gray. And okay. I'll uh, basically be just a common brawler fighter who's He's looking retainer, to get into the business. Yeah. You like to think of me as your retainer. Cool. So, um, next question is: Where exactly are you going? Um, considering uh, bits of my background, I'm going to assume I, know, I might know circles where we can at least get a lead on where to go for this kind of thing. Like, yeah, what I'm looking um, for is a kind of like typical opium den, like underneath a bar somewhere, kind of thing, where it's like mm-hmm. you get like big yeah. prints that are like standing yeah. at the doors and things. Could, just so let's about, let's just start with the fact that Jack will definitely know where at least one opium den is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, because that's where your sister died. Yeah, but that's not the same drug. That's the problem. No, yeah. but um, remember that spice is a new drug. Um, you wouldn't know exactly where that's dealt with, but for yeah. sure you could try to hit up some of your old contacts. Definitely. Yeah. So, or maybe um, we could use let's... like knowledge local to try and find old places, because it could always be the case that they went out and then new people came in and did a yeah. new well, business. That's... Yeah, that's what we were going to go with. You know, go uh, to an old place. If it's still in action, talk to someone there to see if they can lead you to the new place. Yeah. Hmm. I believe that's right, Jack? Yeah, basically. Okay, so um, there's um, an old tavern in the west side of town called the Paper Lantern um, that was, like, it's not the one that your sister died in, but it was the one that, um, like, you know, you when she was at her lowest, she, you know, they don't you don't frequent one den, yeah. Um, she kind of traveled around a bit, and this is one of the ones that she went to. It was probably the one that you know was the. It was like of the levels of the nicest shitty place. Okay. Um. Cool. So, uh, at, at dusk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's one of the clubs in Sterling. So um. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, I yeah. So um as you roll in the paper lantern, like it's how many taverns have I written into this town by now? Lots. Like I'm really so confused. many. I'm really like, three? Four. I think this might be the third. Third in a brothel. Which I mean with the size yeah, I think Jack, the city is, Jack is fair enough. At me. Shut up. I'm, I'm really confused. This is my piece of paper that I have for all the notes. I just turned it over and there was all these notes on it which weren't there when I looked a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it, might, it might be helpful at some point. I'll go with it, but I think Satan's at work. <laughs> <laughs> the evil party has like got a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it'd be more likely to be like God than Satan. Oh. Throw us a like but yeah. Throw us a um, yeah. Paper Lantern is a pretty rundown little pub. Like you know, it was um it was pretty shitty when you know Jacques was a child. And it doesn't look like it's had any renovation since then. Like for a building that's like 17 years old, it shows that it's 17 years old. Like there's like the paint is peeling on the door and stuff like that. Um, like it obviously it's old today. No, oh. it's old. It's older than 17 years old. But you know, it's uh, you know, it was around 17 years old ago when you were uh, okay. frequenting the town. Right. So um, you know, there's like. And there's a man like cleaning the bar, um, like a not particularly attractive like bar wench serving tables. A couple of old geezers, like m- like kind of grimy looking people, yeah. like teeth missing, teeth rotting, sitting at tables drinking. Yeah. So I'm gonna look for. Um, so considering I know a bit about uh, drugs and such, what knowledge role would you have me do to look for potential like symptoms? Uh, so, oh, you mean like symptoms? Yeah, you know, if anyone's got the shakes or like... Uh, that would be a medicine check. Medicine. But I'll give you a plus two on it given like your like kind of backstory for this. Lovely. Where's that? I need to find it. Is medicine a skill? Knowledge? Yeah, it is. Uh, I believe sure it's, it's a, called I believe it's a skill. Uh, we'll call... I'm pretty sure, is it like knowledge medicine then or something like that? Give me a second, no, I should probably have a character sheet. Knowledge, no, there's no knowledge probably medicine. probably have a look then, shouldn't I? Heal is what you're thinking of. Um, yeah, give me a heal check, see if you can spot these, uh, you know, spot these um, I symptoms. I I can't. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. 
Uh, have you rolled? Oh, you did. Yeah, you did. Um, none of these people are exhibiting symptoms that you can see. Uh-huh. I forgot I had the, the thingy on opening the window. In that case, I'm going to look for... I'm trying to use my Evan roleplay voice. <laughs> the voice he uses for every character, but I can't do it. <laughs> the, like, really one. cockney one. Like, the really posh one he uses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I'm going to look for... I'm going to look for, like, someone that looks kind of rough-looking, uh, scrawny. I'm going to stand there and look menacing beside Tom, because I have to go for my dinner. Okay. <laughs> like, Just... basically... Do you yeah, basically, I will. Your hips the entire time. Basically, if, basically, I'll nod at him if I want to roll something. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, okay, I'm gonna look it. for since I failed to look for any specific um, symptoms. I'm gonna look for people that just look generally kind of. Um, the bar is practically yeah. empty. Yeah, like, it's two men, the barkeeper, and a bar wench. Yeah. Uh, what well, the two men look like then? Um, like they're both reasonably like kind of large guys. Um, probably like, probably like workers, you know, miners or lumberjacks, that kind of thing. You know, they've got the muscle that shows work, um, rather than just you know being a strong guy. Tom has frozen. Am I? Uh, just your face. Yeah, you're scratching your eye on my screen. Too. I can still hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I've got something wrong with it. Um, there we go. Okay, it's back. That's, that's, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna go, I guess, to the. Uh, hmm. Do I recognize the barman? Is it the same man from before? From um, where? it could be, but like, I, give me a perception check on that one. Like, I should my. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like it takes you a second. Like you're looking at him, like, because he's you know obviously he's aged. Um, yeah. but like you know, like you you sit there going, yeah, add a little more hair on the top, like put that tooth back in, uh, remove the scar. <laughs> That could yeah. be him, yeah. Okay. So, I guess at this point, because it's quite empty, um, whilst he's sort of minding his own business, I'll go over and buy a drink. And then, you know, take a seat on the bar stool. Yeah. With yeah. Craig next to me, looking all stern. He serves you um, the poor tavern's pig piss. Oh, no, I, sorry, I will have bought, I will have bought like, something that I'm a bit... Unless, it's, unless they don't have it, I will have bought like, something a bit nicer, just because it me. Um, sure, like... When like wine then like I'm guessing uh, well, no, wine's that's probably one. Hmm? It doesn't really fit one well, the uh, person I'm pretending to be right now. So I'll be, yeah. I'll be like I won't want shite. Basically, I'll be getting like a nice beer. Yeah. yeah so like that. he he kind of like you know like he I goes to serve you. Yeah. There's no menu. It's just like <laughs> a few kegs at the like you know a few barrels at the back. That's got I, like tap like rudimentary taps in a couple yeah. of bottles of wine. Yeah. He, he serves you from like one of the kegs and just like. Like just kind of like plops it down the counter in front of you. Like some of it spills over. Yeah, cool. Like, like he doesn't say a word. He just like goes and puts it on the table. Wow. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna just try and like start conversation like casually. Um. I yeah. don't know, just just like sort of oh lovely weather we're having quiet at night tonight etc. Just yeah. try and like just try and get him a bit more like a bit less sort of standoffish. Yeah, like so, like he like maybe like three or four words at a time. So he's like, you know, yeah. I guess, or uh, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's business as usual, kind of thing. Um, but as you like, as the conversation progresses, you know, yeah. he's less cleaning the entire um, the entire counter and more like just doing one patch in front of you. So I'm gonna ask him, you know, have you worked this place long? Uh, it's, it, it, like he's like, it's mine. Oh, I mm-hmm. see. I was twenty years. Yeah, this is the answer. Also, I thought I recognized you. Um, I he, an eyebrow raises. She's like, yeah, I used to. Um, I've. I, it's been a long time since I was in the city. Um, but um, some old, some old friends of mine. When I was, when I was young, brought me in here uh, a good few years ago. Now mm. he's like, he he's like. Mm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna sort of like you know like just be pretty casual about it and uh, lean closer to the bar and kind of like uh, just like so um, you know back back then it was a long time ago now but 
this place used to deal in some um, some uh, special orders of them drinks. He's like, he, he looks and he's just like, we don't do that anymore. Uh, in which case, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of like lean back my hands up, just like, fair enough. I can't blame you. Um, and I'll just ask, does it happen to, do you not happen to know anywhere else? Uh, be my friend, I'll like nudge Craig, who's all like, Ooh. Um, <laughs> 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 basically, just like me and my, uh, me and my friend are just, uh, like I say, it's been a long time since we're in the city and we're just trying to get our bearings. You wouldn't happen to know where a couple of guys could maybe find some, maybe find. Uh, so he looks you up spot. and down and yeah. he goes, You don't look the type. Oh, no, wait, you're in disguise. So, like, what kind of guy are you going for? Like, what do you kind of look like right now? Because we need to talk about this. Like, you yeah, take on the guy as someone you've seen, correct? Like, sorry? You I... take on the guy as someone you're looking at, I believe. Or is it just you change your face? Yeah, uh, you're right, actually. Sorry, I must. I had to look on the street. So I guess I'll we'll have to do, yeah. like, a... So yeah, give me a perception role. check. Like, let's, we'll, we'll do kind of, like, flashback to that. Give me a perception check to see if you can spot anyone that looks like a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> but it depends on what you're looking for, you know? Um, because you're trying to go for if that's the like another twenty two. Yeah. So if you like, you see a couple of people who look maybe like quite sickly. You know. Yeah. Like, I'm basically looking for um sort of a you know like a pale, spindly kind of person. You know, with uh, like still quite like not bad features, but um, I guess the cafe I'm looking for is like somebody that might have started a bit higher up, but it's kind of like fall into bad habits yeah yeah so yeah you like you find someone like he's dressed reasonably well got quite nice hair but like most of his teeth yeah uh, missing maybe one or two the front um and a couple of black ones towards the back but yeah he looks he's got that kind of pale tremble to him maybe it looks like he's done something cool um yeah so he looks you up he's like i can uh, and I'll sp- and I'll sp- and I'll I'll order another drink at this point as well. Just same thing again. Mm-hmm. Um, drink. Yeah. Just it's kind of like a, you know I'm willing to throw a bit of cash just for directions. Yeah. Well, like you can tell, like by the way he's like standing, he's kind of like he's waiting for you to bribe him yeah, rather than what, yeah. like. My drink is like I understand you know, without without saying yes, I'll pay you for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like no. That's he, he. He wants you to give him an offer. Can you give me directions? <laughs> yeah, sure, I can do that. Um, let's have a look. And I'm like, sorry. I'm gonna like. Uh, I'll just start off with popping a couple of gold on the table. Two gold. Yeah. He's like, that's quite a lot for like a place run down like this. So he'll be like, yep, I'm aware. Mm. He he pulls out like a bit like he he like reaches under the counter like grabs like a pencil and like you know and sh- you hear him rip a bit of paper and he writes something yeah. down folds it up and hands it to you. Excellent. Um, uh, it's like it's like um it gives a street name like um pff, I don't have a name. Uh, uh, Street. Mulberry. Yeah. Yes. It's um it's got um you know. Uh, yeah, it's got like Balam. It's called no, it's like Bal- Balamori Street. It's like uh, the third door down the right. It's called the Boathouse. Um, and uh, ask for Liam. <laughs> yes, perfect. Um, yep. Third on right, ask for Liam. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm going to put a third gold coin uh, with my offer and just thank him. He's like. And- he he's he just nods and he's like, I'd ask you to leave now. Yeah, sure. Uh, like I'll finish I'll finish my drink quickly, you know, I'll leave yep. the empty and just give him a you know, just a friendly thank you and be on my way. Yeah, cool. Um so like, talking about also um what Yeah, we'll skip to we'll skip to um the riders on the storm. Cool. Um so yeah, you guys make it back to Marin's Eve and back to the inn. Um like when you when you get back in, like um, Hawkins is, you know, cleaning the counter, and for the first time since we started this role play, um, <laughs> you have a customer. One guy nursing a beer. Okay, so when we get in, I'm going to tell the customer to get out. 
<laughs> yeah, like the guy's just like, "Who are you?" Doesn't matter. Leave. He he looks up to the bartender. Like he looks up to the bartender. Like he looks up Piper and Piper's like, "You better do what he says." And and the guy's just like, Ugh. you hear him like kind of grumble. Like he stands up, knocks the glass off. Like very, you know, the, he knocks like one of your pint glasses off the table. Like very notably, notably, like he was doing that on purpose. And then oh, tried... okay. Well, I'd like to uh, swing a punch. I think. Go for it. Give me melee. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's uh, unusual. I actually have to roll something. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you like go to hit him? Maybe like he's like he's obviously been drinking. So maybe it was just like he made like um an unpredictable kind of drunk stagger. And you just kind of like, whoa! And you're like, and he's like, did you just try to hit me? Yes. And I'll do it again, now leave. He's like, you think you can take me? And you hear a pipe like, no, 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 in the background. Okay, I'd like to draw my sword and uh, stab him. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> sure, give me a melee attack with your sword. That's a hit. So yeah, like, uh, mm-hmm. like how, how are you hitting him with this? Uh, I, I imagine I would just hit him as I'm drawing it, just kind of sli- so slice like, him like uh, through the stomach. Rather than, yeah. yeah. So like, you see him like, and like, like he coughs a little bit of blood, and like, suddenly there's like, um, like you, you, you hear like kind of wet thud as the insides of him no longer inside of him. Um, that's going to take a little bit of cleaning. He just like topples over backwards, like intestines and guts on the floor. Um. Yeah. So let's not, tell, let's not tell Junior and, and Jack that. <laughs> I'm going to turn around without mentioning it at all and say to um, say to Piper. So is it Piper there, or was yeah. it Hawkins? By the way, please. It was Pi- Piper's at the bar. I can't remember what I said first, but we're going with Piper mm-hmm. now. Um. Please note, by the way, that um. Piper has never seen you do criminal things before. He knows that you're but, a psychopath, but he still. Thinks I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn to Piper without say, mentioning this at all. And I'm just say, like, Jesus! And he's like, he's like pinned up against the back wall. Like, he's like, fuck! I'm going to just say to him, do you know where I can get some spice? He's like, I, I don't deal with this, that, that stuff. Uh, I'm sorry it about that. Your t- it went through your town. You know where it is. He's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it did all the time. Uh, but I, I, didn't, I didn't do the stuff. Um, I'm not asking you to do it. I'm asking where I could get it. Oh, um, he he kind of like he's like. Uh, can we? Can I? Can I ask Hawkins? Can I ask? Can I ask Hawkins? No. no. He's like, please, please. Hawkins was. Uh, he he talked to the people more. I I was the you know I'm okay, muscle. He's Hawkins? the brains. Where's Hawkins? Uh, Hawkins will be like he's like uh, upstairs. Um, he's um looking after Elizabeth. I thought we didn't have a upstairs, and we were just but and they no, were just looking upstairs. around nowhere. You have an upstairs. Oh, do we have an upstairs, just not an attic. attic. You don't have an attic. You... Yeah, <laughs> you have an upstairs. Okay, so I'll say to Blake, "Can you uh, watch this guy?" Mm-hmm. Blake, how is you? How are you reacting right now? Like, Dorian um, just came in, I'm cut some random dude room. open, and then make a path right here. <laughs> are you muted? Blake, just... or... no, you're not muted. Yeah, I'm just seeing a okay. psychopath. Yep. Mm. Okay, so you're just like I'm used to this. Yeah. Cool. So, um, Dorhim, I guess you're just gonna like stomp upstairs after Hawkins. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Blight, how are you? Uh, well, I'll. Okay. Yeah, he will be, but I'll explain that in a second. Like he's he's looking after Elizabeth, like um, Junior asked him to. Blight, how are you like dealing with Piper? Obviously, um, Dorhim was quite like hostile. How are you like? You know, have you got your weapon drawn? Or are you? Uh, I I'm fine. I'm just gonna. He's like, he's like, what, what's uh, what? Is, is he gets like this often? Uh, just be. <laughs> Give me a bluff roll. Is he implying the meds or the spice? <laughs> uh, well, are you are you making that implication? Because that's something you could do. No, no, I'm just seeing where he takes his meds. Cool. Um. Well, like, give me a give me a bluff roll to see, and we'll see how Piper interprets that. 
So like, he, like yeah, I'll say like you know we'll we'll take that fail like not a very good role on that um you know Piper like he's dumb he's like oh like I, I didn't know he you know he's like yeah he's like you know he's like he he, he we're, we're taking that as he assumes that uh, Dorhim is a drug addict <laughs> yeah so you know um like. As you're standing with Piper, it do, he does make it like he keeps eyeing the door, and you can obviously see that. Um, you're not sure if he's going to make a run for it. Kind of what I'm going with here. So yeah, you, um, Dorheem, are you sheathing your sword as you go upstairs, or are you just going to keep it out, coated him? Uh, I'll, I'll sheath it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got a decent roll, but you know there's still going to be like a splattering of blood on your shoulder or something. You know, you gutted a guy, okay. like quite close range. You were in a punching distance. You slice open someone, you're going to get a little bit of splash back. Okay. Um, but yeah, you make your way back up the. You make your way up, up the stairs. Um, Elizabeth will be in her room. You'll know which one it is, kind of thing, and that's obviously where Hawkins will be. Okay, so I'll I'll go in there. Is Hawkins there? Just opening, like or knock, or I'll open the door and just go in. <laughs> like Hawkins Elizabeth. There? Yeah, Hawkins is sitting in a chair okay. reading a book, um, like out loud to um, Elizabeth, who's just sitting cross-legged in her bed. Uh, when you walk in, he's just like, "Oh, boss! I didn't know that you you um you guys were coming back. Uh, is everything all right?" And he, you see him like look at the blood on your shoulder. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Just need to ask you a few questions. We're ch- chasing up a few leads on a job. Just like, uh... no problem. Yeah, sure. Um, what can I do? Do you know where we can? Well, do you want to talk about this outside this room? Like he looks at Elizabeth. And he's like, "I got you, boss." So he's like uh, he he puts the book he puts the book down you know, like uh, pages down and he like kind of puts a hand on Elizabeth's shoulder and he says I'll be right back you know um, the two have obviously got reasonably close in the last day as mm-hmm. you guys have been out um, he and she kind of nods and you know you're out you're out in the corridor now okay so we know that your town may have been, had some spice trade going through it we need to know where that's coming from. He nods. He's like, "Yeah, I mean, traders came through all the, like you know, a couple of guys came through every now and then. Now and then." Any descriptions? He's like, "Well, yeah, I mean, a few. Uh, is there anyone you're looking for in particular?" Uh, no, we just need to find one. We suspect that there's a way into the city that uh, they are using, and we want to find out. Like, yeah, I, I heard talk about that. Hmm. He's like, like he he looks at you like uh, something like clip. Or you know, yeah, something like that. That's close like, enough. Yeah, cool. Um, he's like, yeah. Uh, well, there was this like one guy. Um, he he sees you. You see him like you know, thing. He you see him like deep in thought. It's like he's trying to recall something mm-hmm. rather than um, like it's just like oh, I know this. Um, he's like something like. Druby or uh, Drody or I um. I, I was thinking more a description of their appearance rather than their like, name. But. Well, uh, he's like, oh, um, uh, like dark skin. He was a tall man. Um, dressed quite nice, like proper, like you know those like those fancy robes kind of stuff. Uh, um, fancy robes. Yeah, you know, the, 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 <laughs> he looked like he was, you know, he came from the east. Uh, you know, they 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 wear those, you know, beads, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, Okay. Uh, he was like, yeah, tall, dark skin, fancy clothes, and uh, I was worried uh, that you were going to point us in the way of a wizard. I would love to do that. I mean, you don't know. Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah. so uh, yeah. Thank, thank you for your information. You, any idea where they might stop on the way? He's like, no, nah, I'm sorry. You know, they they came, they come through town one day, and then three or four days later, they come back through. Okay, well, thank you um, for your help. And uh, here's another um, 10 gold as a bonus. Uh, oh, wow, boss. And I'm going to give you 10 gold uh, for Piper. Uh, if you could give it to him later, that would be good. Like, we're such nice bosses, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have a question that I... Tom, could you just do me a favor and take? Don't call me in. I just want to. Oh, could you take your friends. headphones off for like three minutes? I'll wave at you. What are you going to do about the body? <laughs> uh, get paper to. 
<laughs> that uh, was my mute. plan before oh, yeah. my mic started falling up apart. Cool. Yeah, sure. Um, like when you go back down, you're like, like, are you just going to say like, clean it? And... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say. Um, can you get that cleaned up? I'll it's give like... you. There's an extra five gold in it for you when you do, if you do. What What do I do with this? Uh, I would recommend uh, digging a hole in the back somewhere, putting it in the basement if you can't do anything with it, something like that. I don't know. Just make sure it's not in the front and get sure. rid of the blood. Anything, anything, and he's like, you can see, he's like, he's got to do it. <laughs> Okay, and I'll mm-hmm. just I'll wave back my Tom now. <laughs> okay, and then we'll I, I would imagine we just start heading out. Yeah, cool. You got your information. So tall tall black man uh wearing robes called Drooby or Drew Deedies or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you can you can mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't give him a signal. <laughs> oh thank god. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. The only time I have a, yeah, the only time you have a drinking problem is when you spill it. Would this be a good time to take your first break? I think the only time to take our first break. Some good stuff has just happened. Um, what was that? Shot? That was wonderful.